our pasture says, be safe. to stop the bleeding. Apparently it hit an artery, but there's no fractures. And tomorrow, we're back at it. One of the big parts of the racing scene is obviously, and the whole downhill skating culture, is the wheels you ride. I decided to go with flywheels, um, 81A durometer. They're pretty much a good wheel for this hill. It's really smooth tar, so they grip nicely and the slide is really smooth. So I've been really happy on them so far. For the rain yesterday, I went and cut some grooves in because I didn't bring rain wheels, but it seemed to work. The track here is quite grippy, so it's good. For free riding, I like flashbacks because they core really nicely. You can get them down to the core you know, without flat spotting really too badly. So yeah, this is before and after, which I'm quite stoked about. company is different. A orange 80 orangutan is a bit comparable to a 78A sector 9 wheel. Just the way they measure it is not different but the different urethanes act totally different. Otang wheels, that's a, that's a big help. They drift so well and they grip up, just really like it. Yeah, gear. <laughs> I'd say in the first couple of years, my dad wasn't really happy about what I was doing, but then he, he found out how, how, how big of a deal it is for me and how well I can do. And uh, really quickly he started supporting me. Still always had a board and would cruise around but there weren't any hills where I lived so I stopped skating and just got into surfing and that kind of thing. If I hadn't got back into downhill skating I wouldn't be in Switzerland now. Oh for sure my family uh, supports me there. They're pretty happy I'm out skating and they were excited to hear I was coming out on the uh, the World Cup tour. Well, I figure there's two paths I can go down. Um, one would be trying to get a job in the industry and the second would be uh, like trying to go back to school. So I was working in post office, but I quit my job to have a new job. And uh, if I not be a skateboarder, I probably would be a snowboarder or a skier or a downhill mountain biker. I don't know, but something downhill because I don't like running, you know. <laughs> Maybe in the past I've been skateboarding a bit too much and not didn't care about other things in life like school or work. I've been skateboarding my whole life. I got kicked out of high school because of skateboarding and I think, I don't know, it's not really doing me any favors. <laughs> I just love it, man. I don't know what I'm going to do after and I don't know. Mm. Thank you.
Cool spot. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't scared it. There's a hundred kilometer an hour tunnel. me that the tunnel you can't air break and you can't slow down and then there's a corner straight out of it so I was like super scared for that because he said it's a left or so so I was thinking like toe side at 100 okay see what happens and then I saw it was far away I was like okay cool but I was scared but I really didn't try this Well, you have to have a solid board. Like if your board's all flexy and flimsy and stuff, no matter what else you're riding, it's not gonna feel that great if you start to go super fast. Uh, the people at Quebec luckily uh, helped me build a new board. And it's a shorter wheelbase drop board. There's less drop, so it's quite a bit stickier in the corners. Uh, the full bag of leaves has some uh, 3D concave in it. You can see uh, on the side, the, the concave itself raises up to allow pressure point so you know where the tail of your board is. The vicious grip tape, this stuff's super, super gnarly. If, uh, if you're a street skateboarder, you don't want a whole lot of grip on your board, but uh, in longboarding, it's totally different where you want as much 
grip onto your board as possible because you're really forcing a lot of weight sideways and uh, having to react to the amount of grip that your wheels give you. As well, some more uh, extra vicious underneath to allow for more shape to know exactly where the end of my board is and give a little kick tail for some fun. I try to know a lot of what's going on with my equipment. Um, I have adjustable base plates on my trucks and hardly anyone has that and I actually adjust them like by three degrees and I think it makes a difference. You can just have a connection with your trucks and they can last a really long time and it doesn't really matter what wheels or board I ride as long as I got the same truck set up. It pretty much feels the same. people started trying out new bushings. It's like changing the suspension on your car. Venom bushings, they're pretty much the standard, I think, in downhill. There's a, every single different bushing you'd want in them. But this is my suit for um, skateboard racing. Uh, it's pretty new, I've had it for about a year now. It's made by NJK down in, uh, like, near LA. Here's my helmet, pretty old. I like it. It's very <laughs> comfortable. That's what matters. Say something about the helmet and leathers. Something? Helmet, something. Leathers. Ah, good. Thanks. We're done. Let's go. Sweet. <laughs> and cut. Uh, it's Patrick's birthday today, he got a watch. Uh, everybody is stoked on that because they think we can save some time. But as a matter of fact, Patrick now just knows how much of a uh, delay he has. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm, uh, I'm an hour past P Swiss. <laughs> P Swiss time? Like, if you're P Swissing, you're taking time for no reason without noticing it. We're ready, but Patrick's not, as usual. Into that hairpin, like with the camera car there, the car coming in the outside lane at like 50 miles an hour. Well, shut the fuck up. Maybe you'll be understood. 